Hi there, Klaus here from JoomlaPro.com and uh, we have a really exciting new component for Joomla uh, which we call Joom to Static and uh, we just added it. This video you're watching now is gonna be positioned here as soon as it's done. What this plugin is, is that it's or this component, what it does is that it takes a website. So I have a very basic um, Youth in Pro uh, template here, and it's a very basic uh, Joomla website um, with uh, some uh, simple layouts here. It's also multilingual, so you have four different languages. Um, and uh, there is also a, a little simple blog kind of thing here made with, you know, the templates, the awesome dynamic content of uh, Youth in Pro. So this button here is actually added. Um, I can actually remove that, this one for now. And the Joom to static component looks like this. You install it. You need to configure um, each language main menu in here. So all the languages you have installed, you're gonna get a list of them here. And you just need to point each of these drop downs to the correct um, to the correct language menu in Joomla. What we also added is that we have a minify uh, and a combine for the CSS and J JavaScript files. So it, there, there are some optimization that can be done automatically. And we have also added tiny PNG, which I will demonstrate here in a second. Uh, we also added a direct um, possibility to add a um, uh, htaccess file, um, for example, and you can use uh, FTP settings here. But let me just directly here demonstrate what it does. If I, I have some options here, if I click generate HTML, it's going to process the whole website and, and create a static HTML website out of this. It's going to put all of these files in the, you can see in the dark there. Uh, now it moved over to the next processing uh, here, which is through the tiny PNG API. You need a, a API key for this uh, because um, it's a paid service, but it's very cheap. And then you can um, use their API. We're done here now. And you can download this from a zip file. Let it upload here. And you will see here that you get a full HTML in each of the languages. Here's Turkish has, you know, its own files and settings. So I put the output, that's the default output uh, directory to HTML so it generates into so if I go to this and write HTML here this is now the HTML files uh, so as you can see here about us and it also works to flip flip uh, language you see here now so all the links uh, works and even the blog layout like this works great here and you can see even the breadcrumbs here work just fine so this one is a pure unhackable super fast no database uh, website that you can upload to a you know even a free hosting account and uh, and have a really fast website that has no maintenance or anything then you can keep your Joomla copy. You can run it on a local host. You know, you can use something like SAMP or WAMP or MAMP and all of these different local 
server and you can run that from there and all you do then is download the zip and just upload it to your hosting account and you have a unhackable website. Uh, there are also settings to, to uh, set up a FTP account. Uh, we want to say that FTP is an old uh, protocol, so it's not the best for if, if, if security is the main thing, then uh, you know FTP isn't the recommended way, even though you can do it if you know what you're doing. Uh, you can use that, but we 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 have this because a lot of hostings still use FTP. So what you can do here is you can actually just click when when you set up a FTP, you can just click this one, and it's going to upload all of those files that was generated into to the HTML folder directly to your hosting, and then you can you know you can run all of this anywhere. So. Um, uh, quite exciting uh, and you know you can you can here we have added with our little um, RSS feed thing so uh, that's one of our uh, custom sources for you theme so if we scroll down here uh, and we go into the builder and we just have a look at this list here there's a JPCS RSS feed that's our plugin you install this plugin and you get this kind of dynamic content with an RSS feed. And here I just added the Joomla announcement uh, and it fetches five of them uh, and it displays them like this. You know, you have to map out the, the title from this RSS feed and the link and voila, you have a... So, so, so um, what you can do here is that you can, you can create quite dynamic content here. you can have integration to social media maybe you have a twitter feed maybe you have instagram images and so on but then it's going to generate a static out of this and upload and if you're um, some kind of a developer or have some more technical knowledge you know you could use this and 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 uh, probably automate this to to like you have a nightly upload which means that all of these RSS feeds or social media integrations or other dynamic dynamic content that you use at least once per day get updated so the website looks like there's you know things happening on it while at the same time it's just a pure ultra fast optimized um, uh, uh, website so I'm just going to um, show you one more thing here before I end this video. And if I run this, now it's the HTML files. If I run this, GT metrics, which, um, you know, um, checks how well made and optimized your uh, website is. You know, there's other tools than this one. We have a tendency to use this GT metrics one, kind of like it's quick. You will see the scores here now, 97. That's not bad. Use slow shows 91%. And what is it complaining of? Yeah, CDN, Content Delivery Network. That's not really, that could be used. You could, that's a separate thing. You could set up different CDN domains for your website so so that's something that could be fixed and then we would be up there in the close to 100 points here um yes so uh yeah i think that's all check it out uh it sales for 50 euros and you have a six month subscriptions which include support and uh, we will help you set it up and so on if you need um yeah go to extensions.joomlapro.com you'll find it there thank you